Hey there folks, Aldershot here, and today we're going to play a little bit of Fuego, developed by Radio Static, and it's on sale on Steam at the regular price, around $10 USD. Uh, this game was sent to me by the developers, and it's essentially a casual strategy turn-based game, or something along the lines of that. Uh, <laughs> Now, I've checked the online, there doesn't seem to be anybody playing, which is a bit unfortunate. It seems like a game that would be best suited for online play. Uh, I haven't played much of the game at all, uh, only through the tutorial, just so I can get my bearings. Uh, so, we're going to just jump into an AI game together for the very first time and uh, see what we can do with it. Uh, but anyways, it looks pretty interesting, it has a nice art style to it, definitely caught my eye. But let's just jump into an AI game, and uh, yeah. Experience is merely the name of the game, or the main... Okay, I didn't read all that, whatever. <laughs> Reading, who needs to read words? Anyways, the point of this game is to set up your bandits to rob banks, as well as to um, take out other bandits at the same time. So we'll be doing that. We'll be spending a few turns doing that. Uh, let's see, we can drag and set up our guy to take out that dude who's an enemy and take out a bank at the same time. So we'll do that. Ooh, this guy's carrying three guns. Wow. He's pretty talented. Pretty talented individual, I must say. Um, jeez, we only got... Oh, God. I misplaced that guy for sure. Uh, Alright, well, we're, we're going to get another opportunity to reset our dudes at the end of it, so maybe we'll do that. Everyone does set up their dudes at the same time. Oh, we never got that opportunity to reset our guys. Oh, well, we'll just see how this plays out. It's essentially a game of a Mexican standoff, right? Oh, looks like we lost one of our dudes. And whoever can rob the most money wins. And uh, we won! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray for us. So let's collect that money. Money, money, money. Alright. Uh, we can go rematch or... Rematch. <laughs> I guess we can enter the menu again. Okay, I guess we'll go to the menu. Uh, yes. Alright, so that's the AI. What's the puzzle all about? Let's check that out. Those who remain, alright. We'll try to get a game online after this, but I really doubt we'll find anybody. I checked the amount of players playing currently, and it does say zero, which is a bit unfortunate. Anyways, click on the ground to place a uh, bandito. Click and drag to aim at the bank. Yes, we know this. Um, there we go, just like that. Shoot it out. I think you got it solved. Start the shootout and find out. Alright, let's do it. This seems easy enough. Hooray, monies! <laughs> Alright, well, puzzle seems pretty simple, but this is just the first map, so... Um, get all the gold. I, I, I really wish there... Oh, okay, there it is. Next level. Okay, that makes sense. Why'd I do it? I don't know. You tell me. Alright, what do we have here? Um, get all the gold. Alright, simple enough. Oh, we can only, only place one bandi bandito, so uh, I guess we better make it good. Oh, we gotta click on the other icon to set up the other one. Alright, now it makes sense. Like I said, this is my first time playing, so there's gonna be a little bit of derpiness here and there. But I think I kind of get the idea so far. Click on that, click on that. Easy enough. Let's go on to the next level. Why do we do any of these great evils? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Alright, this one seems easy enough. One there. And uh, another one. Okay, one here. Let's have another one here. That should do it, maybe. There we go. Easy peasy. Collect, collect. Yay, win. Let's try one more level. How do we be good in a place like this? 
Alright, we got two dudes, one that shoots double, one that shoots single. So let's set up our single, let's set up our double here, and this should do it. Alright, easy enough. Cool beans. Alright, well anyways, let's go back to the menu. Yes. The puzzle seems relatively easy, but uh... Oh, we're on the last one. We might as well finish it. We might as well finish it. Maybe we, uh, the next stage or level or whatever will be a little bit more challenging. This seems fairly easy so far. Uh, let's see. We got two dudes. One that shoots this way. The other shoots the other way. So how are we going to do this? Um... Hmm, this, this one's a little bit more challenging. Uh, I guess the obvious thing for this guy to do is this. But then this guy is... Hold on now. Maybe... No, that's not going to work. Maybe... Hmm. This one's a little bit more challenging. Let's see. We set it up like this. Um, what are we going to do with this guy then? Huh. Hmm, this one has me a little stumped here. Uh, see, I want to get this guy to shoot over these directions, obviously. Maybe we set it up here, and I don't think this is going to work out very well. This is not going to work out very well at all. The best thing to do, like, obviously, is to set up this guy to shoot out these two banks. Then what am I going to do with this guy? There's a chicken in our way here. We can't quite shoot these banks over here. Maybe if we... Let's see. We set up this guy. Wait, wait, wait. We set up this guy... So we set up this guy here. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, this might work. Set that guy up there. Set this guy over here. Okay, I think this will work. Aha! We're geniuses, guys! We're geniuses! <laughs> uh, okay, that one was pretty satisfying to do. Uh, there's a next level. Let's go to the menu. Yeah, there's uh, other challenges now, a new chapter, which I would assume to be a little bit more difficult in the puzzle aspect. Uh, we're we're going to go back to AI to get a better feel of, you know, the game as it's originally designed. I kind of feel like the puzzle mode is really uh, just, you know, extra filler for the player to kind of explore, which is welcomed, of course. Uh, it does seem like it has a bit of potential. But anyways, we got this dude here. Let's make him shoot out these two banks. I think that would make sense. So we got uh, an enemy set up over here. Kind of want to take out... Yeah, let's take out that guy. While taking out the bank up there as well. So something like that. I think that would make sense. Let's see, we got a dude here. I kind of want this bank, but I kind of want to take out this guy. Um, let's just take this guy out, actually. Yeah, let's do that. That might have been a bad idea, actually. In hindsight, but we'll see. We will see. No, I don't want that. I want something closer to something like this. Yeah, yeah. Let's set them up. Let's set them up right there. All right, let's do this. This is the fun part. Seeing how it all plays out. gonna happen oh cool we kill a dude that got money we get his money as well that's interesting all right we got all the monies apparently <laughs> pretty cool pretty nifty little game here uh, let's go let's do uh, let's do a rematch see what happens do we get a new uh, randomly generated map or is it the same scenario okay I think this is a new generated map actually so we hit rematch, we do get a new scenario, which is, of course, a good thing. Uh, let's shoot that guy. Or that bank, I should say. So we got banditos up there, and enemy banditos. Um, 
let's let him shoot the bank and then shoot him in the bank and then take the money that he gets from the bank. Hey, I think that's a pretty sound idea. So this guy is going to shoot this bank. And you know what? We're going to set up a similar plan here. We'll let him get the money and then we're going to shoot him while he has the money. And then we get the money. Ha ha! Oh, this guy's blocking our way. Interesting. So what we'll do here... We will set up a guy here to shoot that guy. That way we can shoot the bank at the same time. And let's see how this plays out. These banks are being ignored though, so we're gonna lose some money from this. From this little plan we got uh, planned out here. Oh, look at that, we took his money, it's funny. And these, this guy's just shooting nothing, okay. I think we still win though. Hooray! All right, let's go back to the menu. We'll try and get a game online. Again, I kind of doubt we'll find a, uh, any players, though. Uh, quick play. Searching for random opponents. Oh, boy. This might be a little while. We'll give it a few seconds. Again, I kind of doubt it. Yep. A whole lot of nobody. Which is really unfortunate, and it's also kind of a common trend for little indie games, which is, you know, a little sad, but it's really just a fact of the matter, right? Um, now, luckily, it seems like the developers have kind of foresaw this potential problem. Did give us puzzle and AI mode, which is fun to kind of explore, but it does feel like it's missing an elements without players being played online, obviously. So, um, if you are interested in Fugo, uh, definitely grab a friend as well and try to coax him or her into playing with you uh, as I think playing against a human player would be a lot more fun but uh, we'll sum up our current thoughts on Fugo based on our very limited amount of experience uh, in another AI game actually so graphically uh, it looks great you know it has this great digital illustration look to it it's highly stylized and the illustrations are kind of badass. I really, really like it, actually. Um, it has some pretty strong mechanics as well. I think this whole Mexican standoff uh, premise is a really good idea. And I think this would be a lot of fun if we can get some players to play online. Uh, which is more difficult said than actually done. Which we're clearly seeing right now. And it does offer some strategic thoughts in its play as well, which I definitely really, really like. Uh, yet, it seems to be fairly easily understood and um, something that even more casual players would be able to get into quite easily, which is kind of a strength, you know. It's not the most complex of strategy games in the world, uh, which could be perceived as a negative for the more hardcore uh, strategy players, but its accessibility is a good entryway for anyone who would otherwise uh, not be interested in strategy games, right? So, uh, accessibility is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's also not necessarily a good thing. It really depends on the player. But regardless of how you feel about it, it is very accessible, right? Uh, but pretty simple little game that seems to have some... Oh, we totally lose. <laughs> that definitely seems to have some potential. Unfortunately, it is marred by its lack of online community, which is... Very unfortunate, uh, but it's, it's a pretty interesting game, and for the most part, I think it's very simple, but very thoughtful mechanics are pretty well designed, and without even having to mentioning it, um, the art is quite good, to say the least, right? So, that's Fugo, you know, interesting little indie game. Uh, if you guys are interested, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it is $10 on Steam. Uh, and that will do it. So hopefully you folks enjoy it. Uh, and if you did, you know, show me some love, like, share, fave, and comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe. I'll bring you lots more video games just like this. Thanks for watching, everyone. Alder shout out.